so we are uh, focusing on rc beams and plastic hinge modeling so m3 moment hinge right this particular hinge so uh, this is the table which is applicable we are now already familiar with it but it requires these three inputs or parameters to pick our number so let's quickly check that first is this parameter rho minus rho prime over rho balance rho is the longitudinal steel positive direction longitudinal steel negative direction top steel and longitudinal steel corresponding to balanced failure of concrete and steel these three can be calculated easily actually rho and rho prime are already fixed design is already performed rho balance can be worked out easily using similar triangle principle check whether your uh, transverse reinforcement is conforming and or not conforming conforming means that uh, in the plastic hinge region which means at the ends your transverse steel is spaced at less than d by 3 this is the first condition of conforming and second is that the strength provided by the shear reinforcement or steel vs because we know that the total shear capacity of beam is vc plus vs right vc is again i think 2 under root fc prime bwd and there is a more detailed expression now in new aci but vc is the is the shear capacity contributed by concrete and vs is the capacity provided by steel so if the vs is at least 3 by 4 of the design shear which means that the contribution of steel is around 75% towards the total design shear then um, uh, we call it conforming if any of these two conditions are not fulfilled we call it non conforming so you also have to check this check this criteria for your transverse steel you have to calculate this first factor you have to check your transverse steel whether it is conforming or non conforming and lastly you have to calculate this parameter bwd are dimensions they will be available fc prime is uh, the expected strength actually this is not exactly fc prime it is fce prime which is actually an over strength factor multiplied by fc prime fc prime is nominal strength right and over strength factor is what converts that nominal strength to an a more realistic estimate of strength right expected strength for concrete different guidelines recommend it to be 1.3 right so if you have uh, 30 megapascal uh, you should multiply it with 1.3 to get an expected strength right uh, asc 41 also provides us this over strength factor and there are other uh, performance based guidelines which also provide us this factor same is for steel there is an fy and there is fye and there is a factor of 1.17 uh, to convert fy into fye in performance based evaluation non linear modeling you will always be using fce prime and fye right so no more 60 ksi you should use the actual expected fy similar is for fc prime right so uh, uh, and then we are left with this v v is actually the design shear from the non linear static or dynamic procedure actually we haven't yet performed that non linear analysis so actually we cannot exactly <coughs> estimate what this this v should be it is defined as the shear which will be in your beam when the plastic hinge will be forming right so you cannot estimate it before performing non linear analysis but there are ways which you can estimate that shear right and there is one method i'll quickly go through uh, which is based on the capacity design procedure to estimate that v right uh, in any ways you can get it from some design load combination also right and then use it as this number so you require all these three inputs uh, in order to enter into that asc 41 table right so once you define that m3 hinge actually uh, that form which you have to fill have three main parts one is the action deformation curve which is the backbone curve one is the acceptance criteria iols and cp values for positive and negative side of the curve 
and third is the hysteresis type right how the action deformation curve is going to unload and reload when there is a reversal of forces right so you have to define uh, one of the hysteresis type from the available templates or models uh, which are actually explained in the analysis reference manuals of etap uh, but some of them are very simple like bilinear uh, unloading stiffness is same as initial loading and then reloading is same as the initial loading some are more complex like takeda model or degrading model right so you have to associate the backbone curve with a hysteresis uh, rule also right so which means that you must understand how all of these hysteresis rule which are available in that list how they work right so that you can select the most appropriate unloading or reloading rule for your moment rotation curve or your action deformation curve right for reinforced concrete elements a different unloading reloading rule is applicable for steel elements different is applicable right 